Hi school family, happy Friday. I have a special story for you today about staying home. And you'll recognize some of the characters because it are, it is book characters we have interacted with before. So I'm about to read to you an online story, which you will see in a moment. Let's get our bodies ready to read. Get your hands out. Shake your hands high. Shake them low. Shake them fast. Shake them slow. Open and shut them. Open and shut them. Give them a little clap. Open and shut them. Open and shut them. Give them a little snap. Open and shut them them, open and shut them, place them in your lap. Okay, let's get started. Our story today is called Schubert and Sophie Stay Home by Dr. Becky Bailey with Vicki Hepter and Julie Ruffo, illustrated by James Harkotch. Look at Schubert and Sophie. How do you think they're feeling right now? Things in Bug Valley have been different lately. Schubert and Sophie have been at home for many days. There is a new virus that's making a lot of people sick. Staying home helps keep families safe and healthy and it helps keep the virus from spreading. People all over the world are staying home. The first few days at home together were fun for Schubert and Sophie. It was kind of like spring break or a snow day. They played board games, they played outside, they took family walks. They even worked a giant jigsaw puzzle together. One morning, after about a week of staying home, Schubert woke up grumpy. He grumbled about doing his schoolwork. He grumbled about being home and missing his soccer games. He grumbled about everything. Sophie woke up grumpy that very same day. She cried. I miss my school family. I miss my friends. And I'm angry my field trip to the zoo was canceled. Poor Sophie. Their grumpy feelings turned into grumpy actions. Sophie grabbed Schubert's pencil as he did his school work. Schubert yelled, stop. Mom, Sophie keeps bothering me. Mom was feeling grumpy that day too. She snapped at Schubert and Sophie. Can't you two just stop fighting? Dad growled loudly, enough. It was like the whole family had forgotten how to solve problems. They forgot how to ask for a turn. They forgot how to use their big voices. They even forgot how to take a deep belly breath. Some days, staying at home was hard. Mom and Dad heard the frustration in their own voices and felt the knots in their stomach. They looked at each other and then both took three deep breaths together. Finally, dad said, it's hard to have so many changes. It seems like we're all feeling big feelings like sad and frustrated. Mom said, Schubert, you wanted to go to your soccer games and practice with your friends. Schubert nodded. Mom continued, Sophie, 
You wanted to go to the zoo with your class and play with your friends. Sophie nodded. Mom continued, we can all handle staying home. It's hard, but we can handle it. Breathe with me. The whole family took three slow, deep breaths together. Their shoulders relaxed, their eyes softened, and the knots in their stomachs faded away. That evening at dinner, Schubert said, one of our assignments from Mrs. Bookbinder is to write down one thing we're grateful for each day. Even after my grumpy day, I wrote that I'm grateful for my family. Sophie had an idea. Let's all share gratefulness. So they took turns sharing their gratitude. It felt so wonderful that they decided to make sharing gratefulness a regular part of their dinner time ritual. So what is something you're grateful for? I know these are really hard times, school family, and we all miss each other very much. But let's take three star breaths together and say what we're grateful for. So smile, take a deep breath, and relax. Again. One more time. I'm very grateful for you being a part of our school family. I'm grateful for being home, staying healthy and safe in my home with my family. And I'm very grateful for your parents and families for taking such good care of you and being there, your teachers when I can't be there. So school family, even though we're far apart, we're all staying home together. I love you and miss you. Take your deep breaths and you will handle it and you will get through it. <laughs>